Hello my fellow developers and welcome to the showcase of our application where we're gonna test everything from A to Z to actually you know if this application works really well and see if it's you know uh, good for you and what it offers is actually you know goes with what you want so simply this is our sign up page we're gonna test everything and I'm gonna explain to you so be patient and don't rush and you will get to see everything right here so the first thing is like this is for the sign up page if I try to just click sign up right here I will get all of this validation right here which is strictly strictly done by react work form and sod which goes flawlessly with typescript so this is a very very strong validation and this is not even talking about backend validation but just front end right here so you can see the first thing is that we don't have any names so it must be at least two characters when you do that it is fine now for you and also we don't allow any special characters and also let me remove that no it's fine if i try to use some numbers so it is a problem so we have strict validation for that now let me put my name with no problem and everything will go fine for the last name it is the same validation so no need to repeat that now we come to the email address right here if you put something that is just not valid it's just gonna say that this is not a valid email address if you try to put it in a form of an actual email then it will work and it also accepts second domains so it does work like that but if i went like and added some random character you can see that this is not a valid email so the email that i'm going to use for this testing i'm going to use this from here this is a temporary email we're going to use you can use your email it is fine and then we're going to go to the phone number also this is a strict validation so you have to put a good right number like for example i know my country i know how the numbers are so if i try to put something let me just show you so this is a valid number from my country. If I added another number, it's a problem. If I remove the one, it is also a problem. So the validation for phone numbers is also very strict. For the password, we also have to be at least six characters and it should be the same right here. So if I went and I put like some tests right here. So let me try with the password that I can remember. Let me try something like that. Okay, and I can actually click right here to see my password. And you can see we have a bar that shows how strong our password is with a very strong uh, you know global use you know uh, algorithm that detects how strong is a password so this is not something we just done it is actually very strong and if i put like something like uh, special characters and then numbers that takes our password you know depending on the length of it and extra stuff it makes it strong so this is why putting this algorithm is very helpful to show how strong your password is and now for example if i added like some sort of this now it is a very very strong password so you can see it is very strong uh, validation and if i went to the confirm password and i try to put some random numbers right here and then i agree to the terms and condition i try to sign up it's not gonna allow me and it's gonna say password doesn't match so you also have to match the password so let me try and do that I hope I can remember this password and then now as I accepted everything and I signed up when I click sign up you can see what I'm gonna get let's wait and I can see we just a success please activate your account to start so that means I'm getting an email so let me go back right here and we will get an email as you can see when I click on it I can see this beautiful form that says hello and then your name and then verify your email to get started with this image right here and then the link you can use to verify the email so when i click on this one it's gonna redirect me to my home page and it's gonna say your account has been successfully verified if there's a problem or like you pass the time limit for actually a validation or activating your account it's gonna be an error but now that everything went all right we get to activate the account and i can sign in so i click sign in I'm gonna get back to the sign in page. So now, actually, let's test that. So I'm just gonna go get my email back because it is hard to remember. And I'm gonna paste it here. And let me try with some random password, for example, and I try to sign in. And you can see if it's wrong, everything is gonna say password is incorrect. And just a note, just a side note, this is very secure. Like the, the level of security is just, you can't get better than this. So really, we're so careful with this. So now let me try with the right password if I can remember it. So, and then add, let me try sign in. And now you can see that I'm signed in. This is the home testing page, which is also also protected. So you'll never get to access this 
whether it's being logged in and you can try <laughs> and get back to me so we have the default image this is and the name and the email used to and then which uh, method used to log in so now we're using credentials if we use google it's gonna be google if it was you know github it would be github and everything we can also like while you watch the course you can add like if the email is verified or not you can add this way to sorry so you can see everything is working perfectly with the normal authentication system you can also log out and you will get redirected to this page if i try to access the home page again i will get denied and in the server side so i don't even get to see a glimpse of the website and i'm back at the sign in page so we tested that now i feel like it is time to test with the providers so we're gonna test every single one of them and see how it goes so let's test these providers so let's start with google so i'm gonna click sign in with google okay and let's wait so this is gonna redirect us to the google login page where we can log in so i'm gonna select this account i'm gonna click it and just a few seconds and i'm logged in as you can see and i have my database right here and i can see the users that have been added i have the first one that i've added and the second one here with google so like even it gets added to our database so i'm gonna log out again and let me sign in now with facebook so i'm gonna sign in with facebook let's go one by one and you will see so yeah here it is here it is because i have already an account like signed in in my browser it's logged me in directly and you can see logged in with facebook let me log out again and keep testing and now i'm gonna go to github i'm gonna click on it and let's wait also <laughs> just a waiting game and i'm also logged in with the github account it was in my browser so if you didn't have any account it will ask you to log in yourself and you know if you have multiple it will ask you to choose which one so now let me sign in with discord and you can see now we're gonna get an authorization page where we have to authorize uh, our login to our website so let's just wait a little bit and you can see it asks us to authorize so i i accept and now i'm signed in with discord you see how beautiful this is let me log out now and now let's see twitter okay and this is all all in production this is not localhost everything is in production you can see we're directing from twitter and now i am logged in too we're using twitter now the last thing is auto zero when you can create their account there so let me sign in with auto zero this is also some people just use auto zero alone but we just added it just as something you know as an addition you can also use your credentials to log in here you can, can even sign up and you can even you know uh, connect for example with google so using auth0 and now i'm choosing this account for example and i'm gonna also get logged in let's wait a little bit and i'm logged in and you can see how beautiful this is with all the name of the providers and our informations you go to the database you can just check what's two if i refresh now i'm gonna have seven which is like all the methods we use to actually log in because uh, six of them are the providers and one just by creating a normal account and sign in with credentials normally so the providers are also working with no problems and we're not done yet our authentication system goes beyond this list now test the forgot password functionality right here if you forget your password you can reset that so i'm gonna go right here and choose an account this one and i'm gonna actually send an email to it and see how things go so let me click so if i got my password i'm just gonna reset that so i'm sending an email and i get that an email has been sent to you use it to reset your passwords if i went to my email you can see right here this is the main email i'm using let me refresh that and i should get an email okay so this is the one here this is the same gmail and you can see i got it right here it's new if i click on it right here you can see zero minutes it's been sent to me i can see the logo of my page the logo of that user and then hello with your name of the user logged in and then we got a request to reset your password even the picture we used in there and then you get a link right here which you can use to reset your password and if i click on it this is all on production i remind you i can go right here and i'm gonna be able to actually change my password and confirm it so let me try with a new password so i'm just gonna choose this password let's cho choose a weak password just to test with it like that and let me click change password and you can see that an account password has been your account password has been successfully updated so now let me try and log in with this because you remember we used that account exactly to sign in with google so now let me try actually and do it 
right here just by the form and try and see if I'm gonna get logged in with the password that I have. So if I choose like a random password, you can see that I'm just not gonna be accepted. Let me choose the password we added and I'm gonna click sign in and let's wait a little bit. And you can see now I am signing in. So I was signing up with Google and now I also added a password to it by just resetting my password. And you can do that with the rest of accounts or just a more account. You can this is actually very, very like strong, very secure. I teach you so many things that just actually will blow your mind in terms of like of how we, you know, uh, we create our code, how we organize it. The tools we are using are pretty cool. I choose you you know various methods i'm choosing the best react form uh hook which is like the best one for actually you know uh, you know managing your forms and stuff we're using zod which is the best for validation better than yeah better than formic all of the stuff you know mixed with typescript we we use things that you can actually read right here that's really really amazing we talk about smtp services we're using react justify we're using the algorithm for like um you know uh, this algorithm for detecting how strong a password is we're using bcrypt to, to you know uh, strengthen and encrypting our password we're using handlebars to modify our html file so there is a lot of things right here that you will learn about are actually very 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 good and you will not find you will not find in any other course like i give you the time go search follow every course in the internet and you will realize that this is the best course in the whole internet in terms of creating a strong secure you know powerful ready to deploy authentication system that gives you all the things you need from validation forms from actually validating the password strength all the stuff login sign in and and have all your session really secured and manage them and also how to manipulate them i'm going to show you things that you never seen before and that is like the whole purpose of this course even though that it seems like not that much but it's the logic behind this is actually amazing and i'm gonna give you the time for yourself to test this and you will realize how amazing this is so see you in the course